Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru here. So this video you're about to see on YouTube is a free preview of my course on Timeleaf and the Spring Framework, how they work together. If you like what you see in this series, head over to my website at springframework.guru and you can learn more about the full course. Hey folks, John Thompson, Spring Framework Guru. So in this section, we are going to go ahead and take a look at building out the index page for our course. Now, what I've done is that, like I said, Bootstrap's a real popular framework, and it just so happens I run my the bulk of my courses on a platform called Teachable, and that this is a hosted service that I pay for to, to host my courses. And in this platform, they, they just so happen to use Bootstrap CSS for their layout. So I'm going to go and grab my course catalog from them and make it into a pure HTML page. And we're going to use that going forward. So just a simple course catalog. And what I want our homepage to be, I want it to have a nice uh, background and, and then a, a grid of the courses. And let me show you how, how that uh, worked out. And this is just pure HTML. And we're using Bootstrap CSS for the layout. So I'm going to toggle over to IntelliJ and step through the layout of this now. Okay, here is our new index page. And the first thing I did is in the head section of the HTML, I grabbed some of the styles from, from my other website. And this is all styling that they had there. And I'm, I'm using it to make our stuff look nice. I figured that'd be a nice effect for us going through the course. And this is styling that's being put in line in the HTML header section and any images I am referencing to CDN sources from out on the, the internet. And I'm going to scroll down here so that there's just a variety of classes that have been added for the styling, and these are going to work in conjunction with the bootstrap grid layout. Now, the, the first thing I want to point out here is on line 131 to 136 is a block called the Jumbotron, and that is a big big background block that is used by bootstrap for home pages. It's pretty common to use there. And I, I have two lines of HTML there. One is a, a heading of Spring Framework Guru, and then a paragraph of online courses for Spring, and it's, it's got the lead class with that. Now, underneath the Jumbotron is the Bootstrap Container class, and this is what really holds all the grid stuff for Bootstrap. And the first thing I'm doing is a row, and I'm going to span that row, all 12 columns of it, with Spring Framework Guru courses. Now, in here on line 145, this is where I get into the actual course listing. And let me scroll this up a little bit. Now, this div right here from 146 to 181, that is a single course module. And we're going to get, if you remember right, three across and two deep. And this is all using Twitter Bootstrap. So we can see that the first tag there on line 146 is cal medium four. So four goes into 12 three times. So we're going to get three blocks going across the across the page. And in each block, we're going to use that for a single course. I'm going to scroll down here and we have two rows here. So I'm just scrolling through the, the HTML here and these re repeat. So it's going to repeat three times for row one and three times for row two. And we're, we're adding in the content for each one. Now, the very last thing that we do is we close out the div body and HTML. So this is a valid HTML document. Now let's go over to Chrome and take a look at this. Now here's that page in Chrome, and this is the HTML page that we just generated. And these are images coming down from the CDN resource, and the, these are the courses. So all the styling that I showed you, this is what's making each one of these course blocks look that way. Okay, that's an overview of the index page that we're going to be using for our course. Now, what we're going to be doing as we go forward in Timeleaf, we'll be able to tell Timeleaf little hints not to show something. And we're also going to be using things called like Timeleaf fragments. So if you can imagine this, what's going to happen in the future as we go forward? Because I, I thought this was going to be a really good example for us to work with is using spring we're going to pass down a list of products or, or courses for us to work with on this and each one of those items is going to have all the con or the dynamic content we need to display a block of html so if you remember we had those blocks we had three across two rows of them now if we were to pass down six different courses 
from Spring MVC, we can tell Timeleaf to hide that in our templates when it's rendered and then take this data and dynamically bind it to a Timeleaf fragment and repeat it over for these six courses. And, and that's one of the reasons why I chose this because I want to show you how to use Timeleaf templates with dynamic content. So I just want to give you a, a little insight as to where we are going with the course. But th this here is a, a really good starting place because we're going to take this HTML page and ultimately over the course of this course, we are going to transfer this pure HTML page to a time leaf, time leaf, time leaf temp template and with dynamic content that's being provided by Spring to give us dynamic web pages through Spring MVC.